Hey, good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. We've had to, uh, Trish and I have to improvise on what we're going to do. There's going to be some phone and some uh, some regular talking, but uh, we'll get this started. Sorry for the delay. Um, I'm Jade Alberts, and we are live from Calgary, Alberta. I'm a workplace strategist focusing on business and brand development. My passion is helping small businesses grow and enjoy a work-life balance. Um, today, the Telling It Like It Is topic is health and fitness, and Trisha Andres McDonald is my guest from Orange Theory Fitness based out of Calgary. Trish, thank you for joining me, and how are you? No problem. I'm great. Well, I love the fact that we're uh, we're on V Live TV, and we uh, have to have your phone sta stapled to your head. <laughs> well, as you said, you know we have to roll with the punches. <laughs> exactly. Hey, it is what it is, and as long as it's working. So, I'll give a brief introduction for Trisha here, and then we will uh, we'll get into it. Uh, Trisha's Andres McDonald has quite a different path to becoming an entrepreneur, from a degree in archaeology and consulting in oil and gas to starting a home-based swimwear business where she stumbled into the fitness injuries and franchise through necessity. She always had a passion for fitness and active living. However, she never knew that it would turn into a family business. She started off as a fitness consultant and quickly became a manager, then regional director with Orange Siri Fitness in Edmonton. Until her and her husband moved back to Calgary to launch the very first Orange Theory in Calgary, the sixth in Canada, and now they have four locations best based out of Canada. So that's quite the uh, the quite the road that you took, Trish. Yeah, it definitely is. Uh, it, it in a short period of time, things change very quickly. You you don't realize how how many career changes you'll you'll take to get to your passion. Oh yeah, there's there's no doubt there, <laughs> no doubt. I I can relate to that as well. So I guess my first question to you, um, I mean, you were a you were a small business owner before opening, you know, your first Orange Theory. How has fitness helped you cope with the challenges of owning your own business? Uh, I would definitely say one of the biggest things for me is that the place could be burning down, but I still booked in my workouts. Uh, I made sure that that was the priority so that I could settle my mind and keep active and stay healthy. I had lots of um, hip and bone issues. So for me to sit around and just work, it did not work for me. Uh, I needed to be a lot healthier, and uh, which in turn made me a lot happier, which made my business flourish a lot more. <laughs> oh, I bet. I bet. Um, so I guess, you know, for your personal, um, you know, you can relate to that. Um, but have, have, you know, how about the people, the, the clients or that have, that have you, ha who you have helped, um, improve their fitness? Has it helped their stress, their attitude, um, the workplace culture? If you have any examples, please feel free to share them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, when we first opened, um, Creekside location, which was our first location in Calgary, uh, we actually had a group of members that joined us at the very beginning and they actually to this day four years later are still working out together in different nice. gyms uh, they they still come to our studio but uh, one in particular member that I can think of she actually came to us with um, some health issues um, and as well as you know just uh, she always had weight loss issues, uh, stuff like that. And she actually has turned full circle in four years and is actually now running her own fitness business, uh, including nutrition. Oh, wow. uh, she's got off all of her medications that uh, she was originally on for her health issues. And she is just flourishing. And this group still to this day, like I said, uh, is a community and they work together for the same goal of keeping their health and and uh, keeping that community alive between them and their day to day they come in to us and tell us that you know work is so much better because they were 
they were a group of what we call 5.30 a.m. crazies. So they would come <laughs> do their workouts at 5.30 in the morning. That is crazy. And, uh, yeah, and so the rest of their day was set for them. And they said they were so much happier because they got it in and it's done and they felt so much better. Oh, that's an excellent example. I mean, I... I truly believe that, you know, you know, people that are, you know, healthier and, you know, in better shape and even as a workplace, if they're able to do it together, it, uh, you know, it allows for a better culture. So I guess that uh, at Orange Theory, do you guys have like um, a special office rate or a special team rate or, or group sessions that you're able to do to, uh, you know, help, you know, help an office, uh, you know, bond and improve the culture? Yeah, definitely. So at Orange Theory, we are all group personal training sessions. So they are one hour sessions based on that half an hour cardio, half an hour weight and functional training. Um, and the great thing is, too, that you can book all of your sessions ahead of time. And for businesses, we can actually do team training uh, sessions. So if you have 10 or more people that want to come and do a workout together, uh, we can actually schedule you all together or or set up a, a session where it's uh, just you guys, um, or we can work it into with our other membership base. Uh, the great thing is we do uh, have corporate rates as well. So uh, anything over 10 people in a company that are joining us, we actually give you a reduced rate and you can come work out together and book all your sessions together. Uh, that's great. That's do you uh, do you promote that? Do you see a lot of uh, a lot of type of offices and um, you know as per your the example that you shared? Do you do you see a lot of that? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, we have some of the bigger um, companies in Calgary, uh, for instance, WestJet. Uh, anywhere from WestJet to uh, smaller companies, we have local uh, clinics that have massage therapists, chiropractic, nutritionists. Um, there, There's 10, 12 plus uh, members that come in from the same small office. So they're a small business as well. But then we also have WestJet employees that uh, come together or separate and uh, they talk about their workouts at work. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good thing. You can't, yeah. you can't talk about work stuff at work all the time. No. <laughs> you, uh, I guess I, a, a quick question before we get to the last one. Do you have, um, do you see any small businesses say, hey, we want to book a lunch hour and we can come in and have a group session as a lunch hour? Are they able to, to do that with you? Yeah. So just depending on which studio they want to come to, what we can do is if we don't have a normal uh, schedule booked or sorry, a session booked in the schedule, uh, we can actually set aside uh, an hour session for a group. Um, yeah, so we essentially call it team training because we actually do that with um, with t different sports teams as well. Okay. Uh, so we'll, we're just coaching your group. Yeah, so depending on which studio it is and if there's a space in the schedule, we would definitely do that. Oh, that's awesome. I mean, I, I truly believe taking time during the day, some me time as I call it and, 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 you know, even if it's just going for a walk, it, it, it's important just to, you know, take a little digital detox from, uh, and refresh your mind. No, absolutely. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to get people just to stop eating at their desk, but that's a whole new topic. <laughs> so I guess uh, I know uh, some people and some small businesses here just maybe don't have the funds. I guess for my last question, is there, um, you know, with you being, uh, you know, I guess an expert in this, in this um, area, what can people do in the office or just outside, just something quick that you would highly recommend if they're not able to go for a workout or say, you know, they, they just can't afford it. Like um, what, what can they do?
Nej, så at... Ja. <laughs> well, there. Oh, that's great advice. I uh, I truly believe, like I said, it's it's so important just to, uh, to take a little digital detox and leave your cell phone at the at the desk as you as you do. This. It's crucial. It's so crucial. Well, again, um, thank you so much, Tricia, and I apologize to my guests for uh, for coming on a little late. We had to start a different broadcast, but hey, we're here, um, and and it worked out again. Um, you know, next week we're gonna we're gonna focus a little more on fitness and talk about the importance of sleep. So um, again, hopefully that starts at uh, nine thirty. Uh, again, I'm Jade Alberts, a workplace strategist that focuses on business and brand development, and my passion is helping people and small businesses. Thank you again, Tricia, for joining us, and um, I hope everyone enjoyed this. And we'll see you next week. All right, have a good one. Bye bye.